gas is one of the four natural states of matter along with liquid solid and also plasma gas is a substance that's in a gaseous or vaporous state because it'll expand or compress for its container you can relate gas doesn't have a fixed volume or shape you understand the particles have enough kinetic energy to move in any direction why is this well let's take a pass at the very small molecules that make up gas these molecules are very spread out and have a lot of energy it's why they bounce around like this you see a gas will fill up whatever container doesn't matter the mass if we bend the balloon into a shape the gas will bend too just look at this ape both liquids and gases are called fluids how can this be because they can be made to flow or move as you can see hydrogen nitrogen helium and carbon dioxide oxygen water vapor neon and carbon monoxide argon and also ozone concludes this list of gases Gas, I do confess, gas is one of the four natural states of matter, along with liquid, solid, and also plasma. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. We are the noble gases in group 18 with six elements and a seventh which is predicted to be. We are the noble gases in group 18. We make up a group of chemical elements with similar properties. My name is Helium, atomic numbers to my atomic mass is four. My symbol's H E. now here's some more. I'm a colorless, odorless, tasteless, and a non-toxic gas. I'm at the top of my group. The second lightest element at last Helium's used to inflate scientific and party balloons I'm also used as a cooling medium for a large hadron collider, it's true Hi, I am Neon, my atomic number's 10 My atomic mass is 20, my symbol's ND Let's learn about me then Neon gas is used to promote things and advertising signs And I'm the fourth most abundant element in the universe, am I? I am Argon my atomic number is 18, my atomic mass is 39, AR is my symbol C. Argon's often used when an inert atmosphere is needed. You can find me in period 3 in group 18, that's where I'm seated. We are the noble gases in group 18 with 6 elements, and a 7th which is predicted to be. We are the noble gases in group 18, we make up a group of chemicals. Similar properties. I am Krypton, my atomic number's 36, my atomic mass is 83, my symbols K are in the mix. Krypton's used in some types of photographic flashes, used in high speed photography. I'm pretty bright, so you may want to wear sunglasses. Xenon is my name, my atomic number's 54, my atomic mass is 131, my symbols XE. Here's some more. I produce a brilliant white flash of light when I'm excited electrically. I'm also so widely used in strobe lights for many reasons you see Hi I'm Radon, my atomic number's 86 My atomic mass is 222 My symbols are and these are my tricks I'm chemically inert but I am radioactive My emitted radiation's used in cancer therapy it is I'm Agonesson, my atomic number's 118 My atomic mass is 294 Oh Jesus, symbol on your screen Synthesized in 2002 by a team of scientists, I have the highest atomic number and mass of all known elements. We are the noble gases in group 18 with six elements, and a seventh which is predicted to be. We are the noble gases in group 18, we make up a group of chemical elements with similar properties.
This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. I'm a molecular cloud. I'm a type of nebula. I have a high density and a very low temperature. This combination creates a gas molecular hydrogen. That's primarily what I'm made of along with cosmic dust within. When the force of gravity exceeds the outward push of gas, the pressure is so great that I can't help it and start to collapse, which is caused from a shockwave from a near exploding star. Or when two molecular clouds collide, now isn't that bizarre? When the gravity's too strong, I break apart into smaller clouds. Each cloud is a star's beginning in which I am very proud. Protostars are the name of the clouds that do break free. Let me introduce a protostar that was a part of me. Hello there, I'm the beginning of any kind of star. Let me introduce myself to you, I am a protostar. My core is not hot enough for fusion to occur. To achieve that level of stardom, that process is a chore. The first thing I do when I break free from my molecular cloud, I start to spin until I form this disc around me you see now. As the disc rotates, I produce a strong magnetic field. Pulling gas and dust into my center core as I reveal. The infalling gas releases a kinetic energy, creating heat, increasing the temperature in the center of me. At this point, I can transform into a hydrogen burning star, which is when the new Fusion starts in a protostar This is when I cross over to stage 3 called Titori We play our different roles in the star formation you see This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic changes I'm a Titori star now, also a pre-made sequence Star. My job's to clear away the dust and gas and send it really far My stellar winds create bipolar outflows that decrease my mass Till I'm a main sequence star, my center burning nuclear gas Now I'm a main sequence star, now just like the sun you know For billions of years I will burn throughout my light show Converting hydrogen to helium is how fusion exists It wants to blow me apart but has a hard time doing this Cause of gravity of equal power pushing me in I'm able to stay burning since the fusion did begin There are many different kinds of stars throughout the universe Go learn about them all now that you know how they are birthed This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic this is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic changes Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. One is heliocentrism, this is something you'll learn here. Who is Nicholas Copernicus, of this I'll also share. For over 1500 years, ancient man thought the Earth was the center of the solar system, that was what was taught. This theory was called the geocentric model shown here, which means the Earth was the center of the universe, I do share. But in the 16th century, things began to change, a man named Nicholas Copernicus to decide to rearrange. He introduced a new and at the time crazy theory, placing the sun or soul in the center of the solar system you can see this new theory of the solar system revolving around the sun was called the heliocentrism model to say it is so fun in the 17th century his idea did take hold when evidence was compiled by these astronomers was told Tycho Brahe, Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei you see used different strategies to prove Copernicus's theory Tycho used parallax measurements 
minutes and shot for the stars When he did this he recorded data when he focused on Mars Jonas Kepler used Tycho's information and found this The orbits of the planets and Earth were ellipses Galileo Galilei used the newly invented telescope to see far To discover the Milky Way cloud were actually stars Galileo also learned that the sun had spots on it I sing this indicated the sun was definitely rotating all this info proved that the heliocentrism model was right from that point on it was accepted all from staring up at night what is heliocentrism this is something you'll learn here who is nicholas copernicus of this i'll also share in saturn's north pole there's something strange going on There's a six-sided jet stream Shaped like a hexagon The six-sided hexagon storm is in my north pole It has a hurricane eye that is the center Which looks like a hole The eye of this hurricane is 50 times larger With force than an average hurricane eye That exists on Earth The storm's about 20,000 miles in diameter, which is twice the size of the great red spot on Jupiter. Atmospheric flows deep within Saturn create large and small cyclones. The smaller storms interact with the larger systems you should know. And as a result, they effectively pinch the eastern jet and confine it to the top of Saturn, the planet. The pinching process warps the stream into a hexagonal shape that will keep spinning on until an unknown date. When speeds of the inner ring are moving ultra fast, it speeds about 340 miles per hour as they pass. The clouds at the very center of my pole are spinning rapidly, almost twice as fast as its planet Saturn, that's me. The direction of its storm's rotation is counterclockwise. The storm is locked in place. In my North Pole, it resides A hurricane on Earth typically lasts a week, you see But this hexagon storm has been here for decades and possibly centuries A Cassini mission explored Saturn for 13 years On September 15, 2017, it plunged into Saturn's atmosphere Cassini spacecraft took pictures of the hexagon storm with power A movie was created from seven images taken over five hours in Saturn's North Pole, there's something strange going on. There's a six-sided jet stream shaped like a hexagon. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. One of the brightest comet scenes C slash 199501 I was designated formally I'm Comet Halbop One of the brightest comets seen In 1995 was my discovery I was discovered by an astronomer Alan Hale and Thomas Bob The astronomer amateur I was discovered before I was visible to the naked eye on July 23rd in 1995. Astronomers believe I originated from beyond Neptune, from the Oort cloud, which is 2,000 to 100,000 AU. My elliptical orbit is long, they can take around 200 years or even thousands to orbit the sun, just to be clear. I was one of the most widely observed comets in the 20th century and for many decades one of the brightest seen. I passed perihelion in 1997, but it is unsure when I'll reach my aphelion. When I was visible to the naked eye for humans, it was so much fun. I was observed with the naked eye for about 18 months. I may have had a near collision with Jupiter in early June 2215 BC. I'm Comet Hellbop, one of the brightest comets seen. C slash 199501, I was designated formally. I'm Comet Hellbop, one of the brightest comets seen. In 1995 was my discovery. I have several types of tails that trail. Let me tell you about all of them to impress they don't fail. One is called the bright dust tail created by the reflection 
reflection of the sunlight from the streaming from the comet am i the second is called the ion tail it is more faint made up of electrically charged atoms i do hell i was discovered with a rare third tail you'll see called the sodium tail trailing from the back of me i do have a nucleus which is estimated to be about 30 to 40 kilometers across me that astronomers did detect the noble gas argon in which I reflect. I'm Comet Hellbop, one of the brightest comets seen. C slash 1995-01, I was designated formally. I'm Comet Hellbop, one of the brightest comets seen. In 1995 was my discovery.
does, I do tell. No water on our earth is billions of years old now, you see. And may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me. Let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water with tiny islands peeking out while the core remain much hotter. This hot core pushes molten rock up and out the earth's new crust. When the lava cools, it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts. Over time, these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform. Here's a theory of how the earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. How did earth get its atmosphere we have today? There are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day. The first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas. These molecules move so fast they escape Earth's gravity into space at last. The second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this. You will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you and me. All animals take in oxygen and give up CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuels. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms. All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our earth harm. It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy. If you start to make changes now our planet will change you will see. Please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now. We're capable of change. Go make us all So scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. You're so smart and important, so believe in what you can do. Make a change and set the stage in Earth's future for you. Let's talk about the lithosphere and the seven major tectonic plates. It's what shapes the face of the Earth with volcanoes and earthquakes. The lithosphere consists of the upper mantle and the crust. They're part of the geosphere on Earth, which makes these plates adjust. Tectonic plates are irregularly shaped slabs of solid rock, composed of oceanic and continental lithosphere bedrock. There are three tectonic boundaries running between tectonic plates. Divergent, convergent, and transform now aren't those names just great? Divergent boundaries move away from each other and produce rip valleys. Most active between oceanic plates, yes, the plates out in the sea. Convergent boundaries move toward one another and destructively collide. That's where you'd find those earthquakes and volcanoes do reside. Transform boundaries are two plates that slide past one another. The San Andreas Fault lines the best example of this to discover. Let's talk about the and the seven major tectonic plates It's what shapes the face of the earth With volcanoes and earthquakes Let's look at this topological map of the earth that we live on In the seven major tectonic plates We're learning in this song The biggest is the Pacific Plate It lies beneath the Pacific Ocean Nicknamed the Ring of Fire Due to all the volcanic emotion The North American Plate is the next on the list of major plates It includes both continental and oceanic crust I indicate Next we have the Eurasian Plate Also a major tectonic grate Two large continents it includes Are Europe and Asia today Let's talk about the lithosphere And the seven major tectonic plates it's what shapes the face of the earth with volcanoes and earthquakes. Then the African plate is next. It does straddle the vast equator. Most of Africa's continents in it. That's an easy way to locate her. The Antarctic plate is a medium size of the seven plates that are major. It houses the continent of Antarctica. You'll hear as I banter. The Indo-Australian plate is on the smaller side of the major. It's up to consider two plates, but as one, it's definitely much greater. The South American plate is the smallest of the major plates you know. That includes South America and Atlantic Ocean seabed below. Talk about the lithosphere and the seven major tectonic plates. It's what 
what shapes the face of the earth with volcanoes and earthquakes. Talk about the lithosphere and the seven major tectonic plates. It's what shapes the face of the earth with volcanoes and earthquakes. Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen Geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere Are four major systems on Earth that balance Why we survive here These systems are all separate but interact with one another In so many different ways in each system you will discover Let's start with geosphere All Earth's materials and Comprised of all these parts that you'll be learning in my class The solid iron inner core is a bit smaller than the moon The nickel iron alloy outer core is liquid, it is true The metal is a layer between the crust and outer core Mostly made of minerals and silicate rock Let's learn some more Which brings us to the crust in which we all play and live on Made up of rock and lots of elements that keep four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen The atmosphere's the next sphere that we will look at It contains Earth's air and protects all of us Now how about that? The atmosphere's made up of five layers Now you know one layer blocks radiation from the sun It's called the ozone Let's move on to the hydrosphere It's a major Lakes and rivers and our water vapor too Are what make up the hydrosphere You learn something new The biosphere's the final of the four major groups Including anything that's living that also includes you Microbes, animals, plants, birds and insects alike Are all part of the biosphere That's true and it is alright Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen Here's one of many examples of how these spheres interact There are so many different ways they help us live and that's a fact When volcanoes erupt from the geosphere It releases particles and ash into the atmosphere These particles act There's so many more examples you can find on your own You can research them on your computer while sitting at home Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song, I hope you learn and listen Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song, I hope you learn and listen Whether it's 
last day or night When the earth spins on its axis, ocean levels stay the same Then the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change 238,900 miles from the earth Is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf The reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed systems sun i have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers i'm a frozen one i am neptune the eighth and last planet in the solar system as far as we know i have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers I'm blue as shown Our total planet diameter size When added up is 380,008 kilometers we share We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare We are the Earth and the Moon And you will learn It's in our solar system between us. This is true. We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while. The average distance between us. We will explain to you with a smile. Did you know? The place you call home. 
is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Goldilocks zone is a habitable zone in an area around a star you know. The zone is not too hot and it's not too cold for liquid water to exist so life can grow. There is only one planet we know so far that is teeming with life, of course. That planet that we're sure can sustain real life has a well-known name. It is the Earth. If the Earth were to move as far as Pluto, the sun would be the size of a pea. The oceans and atmosphere on Earth would immediately freeze. But if Earth moved to the position of planet Mercury, the Earth's water would quickly boil away. There would be no more life you see. The Goldilocks Zone is a habitable place where Earth sits from the sun. Allowing water to stay liquid, liquid water's the source of life. That's how life on Earth begun. Stars come in different sizes, masses, and temperatures throughout space. Size and temperature of a star determines the Goldilocks Zone's place. Stars that are smaller and much cooler than the sun have a habitable zone much closer to their star on its run. Stars that are hotter, much larger, and more massive than the sun have their habitable zone much farther. This concludes our fun. Did you know? The place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Copernicus. 
Here's what they know about me this far I am T.O.I. 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see T.O.I. 561B I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy T.O.I. 561B Also known as Super Earth Soon you'll also agree I am T.O.I. 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity T.O.I. 561B Was discovered in the year of 2020 By the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Also known as TESS It sees things way out of sight T.O.I. 561B Was discovered in the Milky Way Galaxy with an estimated age of 13 billion years. The Milky Way galaxy is super old, I do agree. My estimated age is 10 billion years. That makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer. I am around 280 light years away. I'm a third bigger than the Earth, I do convey. I get close when I orbit my G-type star It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's That's one of the reasons I'm so unique for what that's worth Lauren Wise's team is researching me She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii It's unlikely any life can survive on me With a surface temperature of 3630 degrees That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth In Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean I am T.O.I. 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see T.O.I. 561B I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy T.O.I. 561B Also known as Super Earth Soon you'll also agree I am T.O.I. 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity My name is T.O.I. 700D An exoplanet outside the solar system I be My name is T.O.I. 700D 101.4 light years away from Earth Let's learn about me I was discovered in January In the year of 2020 By Emily Gilbert While studying Astronomy I'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away From Earth in the Dorado constellation That's where I play I'm the first Earth-sized planet Orbiting my host star TOI 700 A red dwarf We know this so far I orbit my star In its habitable zone Maybe there's a presence of liquid water On my surface shown My star is 40% the mass of your sun And 55% of its temperature These facts are so fun I'm one of three exoplanets detected by TESS To be orbiting the host star TOI 700 We don't rest Our names are TOI 700 B and C And TOI 700 D You guessed it, that is me All three exoplanets may be tidally locked I do sing Which means the same faces towards the object 
object we are orbiting I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight Called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Tess was designed and launched specifically to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me. Scientists confirmed the find called TOI-700D with NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently. TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey. Satellite object of interest, it's so long to say. NASA's on the hunt for more Earth-sized planets, but for now you have me, I'm sure there's more to find yet you could become an astronomer a job that's out of this world you can be anything you want whether you're a boy or a girl my name is toi 700 d an exoplanet outside the solar system i be my name is toi 700 101.4 light years away from Earth, let's learn about me. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. Let's see. Where am I? I'm 1,402 light years away from the solar system your Earth does play. I was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope on July 23rd, 2015 by NASA with hope. Though a study in 2018 by Fergal Mullally, I have not been proven to exist statistically. But if I do exist, I would be potentially the first rocky super Earth planet you will see if life did exist on me it would be because of my orbit around my sun like star that would be the cause i orbit in a place called the goldilocks zone that's a habitable zone of sun like stars i do roam my name is kepler 452b also known as earth 2.0 yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. I have a probable mass five times that of the Earth. Though that's a rough estimate from astronomers, of course. I probably have many active volcanoes due to my higher mass and density compared to the Earth you call home. I have an orbit of 385 days, which is 20 more days than your Earth's year, I can say. The star that I orbit is called Kepler 452. It's the Earth like star that I orbit, this is true. Maybe someday you can visit me and make history but for now i'm known as a rocky super earth that's what i be my name is kepler 452b also known as earth 2.0 yeah that's me i may support life within the goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home my name is kepler 452b also known as earth 2.0 yeah that's me I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. It's Earth Day, yeah, every day. Help take care of the Earth where you live and play. On Earth Day, the 22nd of April, we all fight today for a better tomorrow. On April 22nd, the world celebrates The Earth that you all live on and how to appreciate There's certain things you do that affect the Earth I have a natural balance when it's messed with, I am hurt Reduce, reuse, recycle, plant, donate, don't throw away Are the topics we'll touch upon in this song on Earth Day Reduce the use of plastic because you all live on me if you don't, it hurts the environment and pollutes the land and sea. Reduce means use less or smaller in amount. Only 8% of plastic is recycled, take that into account. Reuse things you have instead of throwing them away. Here's some things that you can reuse to do your part each day. Glass jars, containers, and some types of cans. They can be reused 
in other ways if you have a plan. You can reuse newspapers, magazines, and paper bags for art projects like paper mache to show your friends and brag. Plastic bags can be reused as grocery totes. And if you can't find uses for them, here's how to recycle those. Any family should have a bin for recycling. Make sure you put each item in the proper bins to recycle these things. Planting trees creates oxygen for you to breathe. This is important because oxygen is what we all need. Donate the things you don't need instead of throwing them away. There are people all over that can use your donations today. Everything you do now can create the changes within me. The future is in your hands. Go make the changes we all need. Happy Earth Day to you. Celebrate this day every day. It's so important for the future of this earth where you all play. It's Earth Day. Yeah, every day. Help take care of the earth where you live and play. On Earth Day, the 22nd of April, we all fight today for a better tomorrow. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have six or seven moons that rotate round me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Colors to Europa, got a meeting. Galileo, I'm the fastest spinning planet in our solar system. Ten hours equals one day. My days are short as they come. It takes twelve Earth years for me to orbit the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter. Solar system. I have the tallest mountain named Olympus. 
longest months It's the biggest volcano in our whole system Phobos and Demos are my two moons Phobos is larger of the orbiting two It circles me three times a day and that's true But it takes 30 hours for Demos to loop Let's visit the planet of Mars There's so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I'm 142 million miles away From the sun and its heat and that's why I'm Chile When you're on my surface and you probably freeze I am a cold negative 81 degrees 24 hours and 37 minutes long It's a full day on Mars so you've learned in this song 687 is the amount of days it takes to orbit the sun For my year to take place Let's visit the planet of Mars There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars Let's visit the planet of Mars There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I am the first planet from our sun, you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen a bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury Nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with The second hottest degree My name is Mercury No one is smaller than me 59 Earth days equals one day on me My surface is made of stone Covered in craters you see Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks I got my name from the Romans, it means god of the sea My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here Minus 392 degrees an average day on me And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system See, My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks About 165 Earth years 
makes one Neptunian year 57.7 nerds could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks
I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 243 Earth is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation, I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye from the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface and my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name due to my brightness above I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun and I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters Thanks for watching KLT, please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.